Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about how we built a prosthetic finger design concept using Vision 360. So this is not about actual design, but rather making a visual representation of how it's going to look like at the end. As you can see, we have a functional prosthetic finger designed from the previous videos or previous project. And in this case, our user has amputation on the middle finger. So we do have to use the movement from the wrist. Now here's a hand model downloaded from GrabCAD called Adam's Hand. Feel free to download it. I'll include the link below and also import the prosthetic finger from our previous project. What I'm doing right now here is to place the finger at the about the right positions that we actually want to position at the end. And as you can see, this is a linkage driven prosthetic finger. So we do have to import and also break the link so that we can actually control the joints that's inside. Um, you can individually select those linkage, but however, this is since all connected through linkage, you can see that simple one movement of the component leads to the complete movement of the whole finger. And you can see the top part here on the at the end, which is will be pulled with the string. So since we don't have any part that's made with a, with a wrist attachment that's going to act as an anchor so that the string can be connected, what I'm doing right now is using the form function of the Fusion 360 to have some sort of the wrist attachment that will probably replace with a Velcro in the future. But this is just to show the position and also maybe the shape of the wrist attachment in the future, how it's going to look like. And after we position this, what we're also going to do is that even with the wrist attachment, we do need a solid base that the, like a protection, but also attaching the string so that the movement of the string while it being actuated, it doesn't really hurt the user's skin on the top. So this is uh, two purposes. One is the anchoring, but the other purpose is to protect the, the upper skin of the hand. And right now, since we don't have any string that's um, kind of representing how it's going to move, we actually use the pipe function from Fusion 360 form function so that if this is everything is assembled in the future, what we're going to do is actually let the, the string on the top part being connected to the end of the linkage so that the movement of the wrist would actually actuate the movement of the whole finger. So that's what I'm trying to do. And the last part is the rendering. Designate some of the material properties or material appearances and go to the rendering to show how it's going to look like. And as I mentioned from the beginning of the video, this is just a concept where we do have to go through the prototyping process that we have done with developing the prosthetic finger and even the design itself should be changed. So we will follow up with uh, more videos about this. Thank you for watching.